how does the sky judge work from what you you've been told and understand yeah. because you know w- w- that the minute that you have somebody upstairs after a play is done, not throwing a flag while it's being done, but using replay to run yeah. through, to relitigate a play in the mere yeah. seconds that we've got between that play and the next play only serves to lend a serious level of frustration to the viewer at home, if not well, in the stadium, to know when a flag has been thrown and for what and why. How, what is the actual mechanics of this? Well, you, you hit on the key point, which is the play clock, and the play clock's going to govern a lot of this. Um, and, you know, there are certain plays where when we see them on TV, like it's obvious to us, right? Like, like oh, my God, they got that one wrong. That's clearly wrong. And then there are other ones where when you look at it from 10 different angles, you're like, ah, they got that wrong, you know? And so there's a difference between the two. And I think the play clock's going to govern this and that the guy up top has very little time to get to the head referee and say, you got this wrong. So it's got to be obvious, you know, just logically, if you look at the time constraint there. And so there are going to be two instances where the, the, the booth official or the booth umpire, the sky judge is going to come into play. Um, and he's going to report to the head refer- referee. So he's going to be part of the officiating crew. One is he can buzz down to him with it, but in the first 15 minutes of the play clock. So once it's, the play clock's at 25 seconds, he can't buzz down anymore. The other is if the, uh, he- if the head referee wants to use him as a resource and he can buzz up to him. And so, like, I think that way, that, 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 that sort of kind of alleviates some of the issues that you might have with with delaying the game or slowing the game down because it all has to be an obvious mess for for this whole thing to get triggered which i think is what we're all looking for for those things to get corrected um and you got to give the coaches credit for this because the coaches are the ones who worked on this there are a bunch of guys bill o'brien john harbaugh ron rivera mike tomlin sean payton there are a bunch of guys that worked really hard to get this right and that want to see you know, the technology that we all have at our disposal incorporated into the way the game's officiated. And so I think that there's an efficient way to do it. And through their hard work, I think that they feel like they've found that, 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 that area where you can do this in an efficient way where it won't slow down the game. And think about this, too. It would probably take some unnecessary challenges out of the game, which is a plus for everybody as well. Well, that's, that's one thing, I guess. But to me, what you just said, Albert, sounds exactly what was said in – support of making pass interference reviewable everything that you just said hey only the obvious hey we got to get the obvious right hey people are seeing it at home you know right. we got to use it to fix it and, so, and and that's what the coaches want they want it reasonable and then and then when it came time to actually putting it into play the right. the powers that be and there you know you could yeah. say it's either the you know the operations office or or the officiating department, which is, you know, obviously under NFL operations, you know, that that somebody just didn't I'll say it. Somebody didn't have the stomach for it where they didn't. They well, didn't. Me, and that and that's that's what's been pointed. I mean, that's what Sean Payton said on our buddy Lock and Forest show in Baltimore a couple of weeks ago and or absolutely intimated that sentiment. And it made news because here's the the coach who tried to make it happen and was the most aggrieved party saying that, hey, it could have worked if the NFL had gotten it right or wanted to do it or had the gumption for doing it. Why, why aren't we going to have the same thing replay out with Sky Judge? Well, I, I, you know, it's, it's funny because I think it's sort of like, I'll take you inside the politics of this. Please. Um, that I think, you know, I, I think that this is, there, there are politics involved. Um, and I don't know how much you guys followed what happened at the owners' meetings last year, but there really was, you know, last year, like, like after what happened in the Saints Rams game um, at the end of the, the 18 season, um, at the owners' meetings in Arizona, the, the 32 coaches banded together and said, "We need to get this fixed." And, you know, I think that the, where they saw the pass interference, um, the pass interference challenge system as sort of a middle ground and a step towards the sky judge, I, I, I really think the officiating department took that as. Like, this isn't right for us. This is going to make our job that much harder. And we weren't really, you know, this didn't really work for us. And so, you know, like between Al Riveron, the on-field officials, the coaches, there was some ill will there. And I think that there, were, there was a lot of feeling that 
Um, there was push and pull on that in the way that it was officiated during the season in 2019. And I think the way the coaches have addressed this is now they've taken themselves out of it. And they've said, we're giving you an extra official now. And that guy is going to be part of your crew. So it's not us throwing challenge flags and making your job more difficult. It's somebody who's going to be part of your crew and reporting to your head referee that's going to be a resource to you. So we're not calling you out for mistakes. We're not challenging the way that you're officiating the game. We're giving you a resource, and we're putting that resource on your crew so you'll have a relationship with the guy and you'll be able to work with him, and he will be a backstop to give you something that you haven't had over the years. And I think that makes all the sense in the world. <laughs> I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but this whole thing kind of turned into a mess last year, and we all witnessed that in real time. Um, and it really, I, I, you know, I think underneath all of it, there was this push and pull between the officials and the coaches. And now I think the, the solution that the coaches have worked on with the competition committee and, and then tried to make work here is we want to just help the officials here. We don't want to make this us versus them. We want to help the officials make the game better. And they think they've done it with this. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.